This is a gravity powered clock mechanism, or more commonly known as an escapement. It's one of the world's most important inventions. It's what makes almost all mechanical clocks work. Its impact on humanity is immeasurable. For example, early explorers in the 17th century used these newly invented pendulum clocks with escapements to precisely find their longitudinal position on the globe. This type of clock was invented by Galileo himself. Sailors needed a more accurate method of keeping track of time. Let's say you're a sailor from London. When you set sail, your clock is set to the current time in London. However, now you're halfway around the world sailing somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. And now you notice the sun is setting. You know the sun doesn't set at 3.34 a.m., so you must be at a completely different longitude. Now brace yourself because admittedly this gets very confusing. Because the time of day is based off the rotation of the Earth, we can lay out a 24-hour clock with the two different times. Every hour is equal to 15 degrees. The angle between these times correlates to your longitudinal position. You know you're at a latitude where the sun sets at about 8 p.m., and the angle between the two times is about 240 degrees. So you are currently 240 degrees away from London. But this is not a video on archaic sea navigation and determining your location on Earth. It's just important to know that accurate timekeeping helped sailors navigate the world. So how exactly does an escapement mechanism work? This mechanism uses gravitational potential energy as its source of power. But what is gravitational potential energy? It may sound complicated and confusing, especially if you haven't studied physics before but it's actually fairly simple. Every physical object has a certain mass or matter that it's made up of. When the acceleration of gravity acts on an object's mass, it creates a force. And this is what makes an object have weight. And when you raise an object high above the Earth, you increase the object's gravitational potential energy. It basically wants to fall down. So by lifting up this counterweight, I'm increasing the system's gravitational potential energy. It's essentially winding up the clock. Now here's where the importance of the escapement mechanism comes in. Without the escapement mechanism, the weight would continue to fall faster and faster. The pendulum and the escapement regulates the speed of the falling weight. And this is done in a very clever way. You may have noticed that there are two counterweights connected to the belt. One weight is heavier than the other weight. This allows for extra friction between the belt and the wheel when the heavier weight is falling. This belt system is very similar to how a grandfather clock works, and it makes resetting the clock extremely easy. So let's see the escapement mechanism in action. When I release the weight, you can see the pendulum starts swinging. This is the first brilliant design aspect of the escapement mechanism. Let's see how it works in extreme slow motion. When we release the weight, the wheel spins in this direction. This adds energy into the pendulum, causing it to swing. But then it's almost instantly stopped by this gear tooth. And now the pendulum swings back the other way. If we watch a little bit faster, you can see the gear pushes the pendulum, it instantly stops, gravity pushes it back, and that cycle repeats over and over. The pendulum is able to swing as long as the weight has room to fall down. This is because at the beginning of each cycle, the gear tooth adds a little bit of extra energy into the swing of the pendulum. And that is the genius design of the gravity-powered clock mechanism. The files for this design are available on my website and they're available for free for my Patreon supporters. My name is Steven and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If you want to support this channel so I can make more of these videos, you can become a Patreon supporter. Find a link to my website as well as my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy printing.